yeah, this definitely will do this nigga dirt. Everybody put your money on Mike. I'm not a financial advisor or a, or a professional better. Don't put, take my advice. Everybody put their money on Mike. We betting on Mike. Paul is fighting Mike Tyson, 90 year old man who definitely beat a lot of his asses. Netflix Live. I haven't seen that before. Interesting. I genuinely feel like, bro, Mike Tyson, it's, he has all to lose here. Like, in regards to just his, like, legacy. Like, damn, what if this nigga actually knocks this nigga out? Oh, remember when Mike, Mike Tyson got knocked out? Is this why Netflix $25 a month? I better not to pay shit for this. I don't know if someone's ever made me eat my words so fast. I mean, I just made my video on how the last couple of Jake Paul fights have drawn little to no interest because Jake has essentially been out here fighting absolute nobodies who are far past their prime. Right. And while he did knock one of them out cold- she That nigga really be knocking shit though. I ain't gonna lie, niggas be talking shit, but this nigga really do be knocking niggas in out. In the first round, people really did not care, and it seemed like he was drawing less and less interest- They be 50 years old, fight. but he be knocking now, their stupid ass defense, out. In that video, I did say that Jake might have some juice left in the entertainment tank but that he was going to have to go back to fighting people with much higher social profiles. I was predicting KSI, maybe Ryan Garcia, but with him now fighting the man who is arguably the most recognizable boxer on planet Earth right, right now, right. this will definitely drum up a lot of interest. I don't care if there is some 30 year age gap. I mean, you got a guy that was on Disney Channel stepping into the ring with an absolute killer. My style is impetuous, my defense is impregnable, and I'm just ferocious, I want your heart, I want to eat his children, praise, praise be, be to, to Allah. Allah. And that's something a lot of people are going to want to see whether you like Jake or not. This was just some of the initial reaction, Jake Paul's a good boxer, and Mike's obviously not in his prime anymore, oh you don't say. But if Mike loses, or this is a tie, then we absolutely know for sure that this is faked, or at least staged. Oh, so niggas is like, Mike Tyson should beat the brakes off this nigga. I feel it, but he's he's 115 years old. Now we've seen this nigga spar, he be on that. We saw him in the booty shorts, hang, hang, hang. Hey Tyson, he, he fought not too long ago. I mean, I'm predicting right now that no one's gonna get knocked out in this fight. Word, I don't know if there will word, be a word, no word, knockout word, clause word. in the contract, but I just can't really see that happening. He fought he Roy says, Jones. He did. And that was just a bunch of old niggas wrestling. I said it once and I'll say it again. Jake Paul claiming to be a boxer while preying on retired combat sports athletes who have sustained careers worth of injuries Facts. is one of the this most utterly pathetic displays of cowardice I've ever seen in my entire life. Mike Tyson is 57 years old. Stop encouraging this clown. You're a joke. Netflix, you're also a joke for promoting this as well. I mean, everyone he's fight has had to agree to get into that ring. Right. And you know what their encouragement is? The money, baby. Sheesh. I mean, hey, if someone wants to toss me a cool million, they can knock me the f*** out. <laughs> I'll happily lay my head on all the money that night. And at the end of the day, dude, it's really all entertaining. I thought Mike was older than 57 as well. That was disrespectful saying he was 90 and 100. Yeah, I take that back. Like I said, the f***er was on Disney Channel. It's not like he was some trained athlete. And I think this is the most reasonable response to this announcement. I hate myself that I'm going to watch this because anything oh, yeah, with Jake Paul that. is oh, almost yeah, like passing that. by a car accident. You don't want to watch, but you can't really <laughs> take your eyes off of it. I also thought this was hilarious. People were predicting this is how the fight was going to go. Now, I don't believe that's how that's going to go, bro. I just Back don't. in the day, I mean, Mike Tyson might catch a murder charge. Like, let's say it was a celebrity back in the day and he wanted to fight Mike. Oh, I think he would have made a point to knock the f out of him. And here is the official head to head. You guys can see. 27, 57. Record 9 and 1, 50 and 6. 44 KOs. Jake's got the 9 and 1 record against a bunch of milkmen and plumbers. Word. While Tyson has the 50 and 6 against some of the greatest fighters of all time. Word, but I that mean, was also, that was so long ago. That was 30 years ago. 50 wins and 44 knockouts is insane you know i'm a little bit too young to have witnessed tyson in his prime but my parents always tell me stories yeah about, my mom too oh, you know we bought the pay-per-view we had the whole family over everyone stayed up all night to watch the main event and then you better not get up and go to the bathroom because that shit was That's over in 12 yeah, seconds last when mike was quit around. yeah and obviously mike is not going to be no pushover this guy still looks insane yeah show the booty short footage. video hank hank whoa did he hank hank 
right, okay, peep, 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 peep. Maybe it was a respect thing with him and Roy Jones. They wasn't fun to throw them bitches like that. I don't know why he wasn't looking like this when he fought Roy Jones. He was like, hey, let's not knock each other, knock each other's stupid asses out, right? We're old men. Also, I've been working more than you, Roy. I probably really disintegrate your ass. You know me, I'm Mike Tyson, I get down. Now it's like, oh, I'm fighting this young nigga, I'm finna, I'm finna, hang, hang. <laughs> It was an ex exhibition. They already I did mean, millions for this is a damn near 60-year-old man. Even at that age right there, 57? If this left hook with the right hook combination, I'm out. And hung, hung, hung. Insane movement. Uh, uh, yeah, this nigga definitely will do this nigga dirt. Everybody put your money on Mike. I'm not a financial advisor or a, or a professional better. Don't put, take my advice. Everybody put their money on Mike. We betting on Mike. I mean, I won't lie to you guys. If Mike Tyson walked through my door right now and hit me with one of these combinations, I would die. He would send me into the TV and there would be no more tan Superman. There's just a look at the official event poster. And this is kind of a groundbreaking event with it being live on Netflix. I don't know if they've ever hosted a boxing match. I mean, as you guys can see per the Jake Paul announcement, they have 260 million people using Netflix right now, apparently including 500 million homes. Shit. Mike Tyson apparently has talked about the prospect of fighting Jake Paul in the past. Jake Paul is obviously, you know, he's big. beautiful. My kid, my, my family loves Jake Paul. Could you f him up? Oh, I'm so fing easy. I would never. <laughs> I believe it's my family. Everybody loves this little white mother. When you see a white boy with balls, you know. I'm talking about from real, but like, you mother. I mean, Mike, I would say that 99% of people out there are rooting for you to get the knockout, for you to bounce this man's head off the canvas once and for all. Of course, the KSI fans came out the woodwork to try and discredit this bout, saying two years ago Mike Tyson was using a cane to walk. Jake Paul should be ashamed. Yep. How you doing, Mike? Good to see you, brother. You looking good, Mike. He look old as shit right there though. Why he look old right there, but in them clips, he hang, 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 hang. He also posted up this news story saying, ain't no way Jake Paul fighting Mike Tyson, man. Mike Tyson is pictured in a wheelchair at the Miami airport, raising new fears for his health amid problems with sciatica. Just weeks after he morbidly claims his death is coming real soon at age 56. I mean, you already know how I feel about KSI. I don't really think the guy has any morals. I kind of see him almost as a darker shaded Logan Paul. And the funniest part about this to me is if KSI came out and announced that he was fighting Mike Tyson, the guy who runs this Twitter page would probably jerk himself off to the news that night. I mean, seriously though, if you are over the age What's up? What's 13, up, Cash Quatch? And you're running a fan account for another man, it's time to reevaluate your entire life. I mean, keep in mind, at one point, KSI was lined up to fight this 40 year old Three and twenty. That nigga whooped my ass, but still. That nigga actually might not whoop my ass. I ain't gonna lie. I might beat the brakes off this nigga. I can't cap. I can go. They put me here right now. I ain't going three and twenty. I, I might be five and ten. Right here, who had a three and twenty. Press the air Dior. And instead, KSI ended up boxing this guy. And here's how the fight ended. This. Damn. An elbow to the fucking jaw. Now, to be fair to KSI, at this point in the match, he was absolutely whooping this guy's ass, but he has still failed to acknowledge his elbow altogether. I thought they were, I was getting up slowly because I thought they're counting because it was a clear, I felt the elbow. I saw the punch go past yeah, my yeah. face. Yeah, he, he did. He elbow. elbowed the brakes off that nigga. What punch was it exactly? Literally, I felt bone. Like, he, he should be disqualified. That should go down as a loss. You can't walk up to someone in boxing and elbow them. It's not Muay Thai. It's not MMA. So that's Word. how he felt about getting elbowed in his jaw. And losing. Someone said watching Jake Paul do a Fortnite dance over an unconscious 60-year-old Mike Tyson. Crazy. <laughs> nah, man, it can't go down like Crazy. that. Crazy. It cannot happen. That can't happen, bro. Jake gets knocked out. It's like, oh, yeah, Jake, yeah. Mike Tyson get knocked out. It's like, damn, childhood hero knocked out. Shot the clock, y'all. Shot the clock. In the contract, I don't think Jake Paul could check his chin either way, but. Either way, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens in this situation. You Jake Paul fanboys came for me quick. You said, oh, your video aged like milk. Where's the update? Well, here it is, guys, and I want to know what you think down below. Are you going to be hate watching this? 
Do you uh, think it's about as real as the WWE? Yeah. I mean, I just see it as yeah, another piece no. of good entertainment, to be honest. It's like watching that train wreck, Love is Blind. You got girls out here calling themselves Megan Fox. Gay guys out here gaslighting women. It's crazy. Netflix on some other shit. Yeah, I be peeping out with my girl sometime. Love is Blind. Me and my girl watched today. Now, I mean, cut this weak ass shit off. And then Love is Blind stopped playing. I'm like, damn, this shit not bad.